So, welcome back everybody to the channel. Today, um, we're going to be doing another job on the van. And this job is a little, it's a little job, but it's a necessary job. Um, in order to close off our cabin from our main living quarters in the back of the van, which is to create a bulkhead. This van didn't come with a bulkhead because it was a minibus, so it never had a pre-made bulkhead like you get in a regular panel van. So we're going to make up one ourselves out of a ply, and this ply is about mm, 12 millimeters thick, I think. Can get 18 mil, but remember, it's a van. We don't want to add keep more, adding more weight unnecessarily. 18, no, 12 mil is thick enough. Um, so we just bought this four foot by eight foot sheet. Um, so we're gonna cut it, trim it down, get it in there, and then sort of scribe the shape of the van onto the wood. Um, because the van goes, it goes like, so it goes all over the place. So we have to try and trace the actual curves and everything of the van on the wall and then cut it out using a jigsaw. Um, so it's quite a complicated job, um, but there is a very little handy trick that we found out um, to use for getting the exact angles of these um, little curves and bends and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so let's get on with it then. So as you can see, um, driver's seat needs to move backwards so we can't do a bulkhead all the way along. So we can only do a bulkhead for the two passenger seats. Or you can just put the bulkhead where the driver's seat is now. Yes, but your bed's going to be there. That means you have two walls in your. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, but we'd lose room then, wouldn't we? Yeah. Lose a lot of room. Um, I'm pretty sure this is four foot. No. Might have to cut a bit off of it. Yeah. The top of the um, top of the chair is four foot, but this bit curves down. So yeah, probably needs to be about three foot eight. Maybe three foot nine. Oh, you gotta get the right. Which is five foot two or one hundred and fifty nine centimeters. Oh, and it'll work then, see? See, it's way back here. Right, so dad came up with this idea sort of scribing it onto the wood to get round the curves of the van as you see Hopefully this works. Got a jigsaw now, so I cut that off and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll go in. We'll see. So otherwise, it's near impossible to calculate those types of things, isn't it? Fantastic! Our jigsaw blade is broken. Didn't even realise. I'm afraid the bulkhead will have to wait because we can't find another blade. We looked everywhere in the boat, both the, the vans. So uh, yeah, I don't have a blade for the jigsaw. Can't do a circular saw because the circular saw can only go straight. So that's it. Can I take that drill now? So now we've got the new drill bit. <laughs> it's a cutting bit. Cutting bit, whatever you want to call it, yeah. So now we can cut this bulkhead finally. So if something goes wrong with one job, we move on to another one.
on. <laughs> Triangle it, two teeth. What are you going on for? You're there. What's on the way now? I'm there again. I just got to do it, man. Oh, I've just got to offer it up, haven't we? I'm not sure exactly where it's going. Oh! I think the chair's getting in the way, Josh. The chair's are getting in the way oh, on okay. the top bit, right here. About this level. Well, that, uh, that method works. The chairs are back slightly. That method works. It's pretty much almost perfect, apart from that bit down there. This bulkhead, which fits perfectly actually, the cut was really good. But um, this bit of plastic gets in the way, and uh, we can't put this all the way back, which we're going to lose a couple of inches because we have to stick it out a bit. I'm going to try and take this cover off. Right, we've taken that off. We're just going to cut the back of that off mm. with the axle and then offer it back up so we've still got the guide and the screw This hole. is cushioned so we can push this back. Yeah, that's much better. And then what I'll do is I'll get that, cut the back of that off. So we can slip there it. we go. What? We still do have to cut a little bit off here just so the driver's seat can move back. That's eight centimetres. At your end as well. For this, for the driver's seat. Children. Of the corn. Hmm. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? I cut to compensate for this armrest. But it doesn't even go back that back foot that far anyway. <laughs> so I could have just cut to there. You could put a piece of ply along here as well, you know. Yeah. Well, my bed will be up here anyway, so there will be a bit of ply. Oh, that's alright then. And then I can't right. sink the holes. So this is four centimetres, four centimetres wide, which is what we're going to use to um, to join this bit of ply up to the van. So that is about that's about four centimetres. And the bottom's about four centimetres. So now we just need to cut this and then put on our bulk here. So we're gonna have a full length bit here. And we're gonna put against that the bottom there so we can mount some more things to it when we get to that point. And it's three foot at the top but this is only an eight foot bit of wood. So at the top will only be two foot. If you put this cut to that corner, then yeah. you get a nice straight edge there. And you can I think the, the top of the band's only like five foot eight, I think. It's a couple of inches smaller. Yeah. We'll just drop that down there. It's wedged in. The strength you've got. So now, touch it to the ground. <laughs> But uh, we've got to drill some holes because our screws are so that won't go that not long enough. Yes, yeah, wedged. Mm -hmm. That's the perfect point anyway. Useless bit drill. Done it there. Right, so that's screwed in with five holes. It's not going anywhere. Time to screw our bulkhead in. It's all screwed in. We just need to do the top. Do the top and then I'm going to silicone around yeah. it and that'll be a nice finish. Oh. Right. How difficult is it? I can't hold the screw and feel, you know? Oh. 
This is fucking terrible. I can't even bad. see anything. Do just it. let me do it. Just do it, because I can't hold the wood under it. Jesus. My spin thread screws are better. A twin thread screw cuts really quick. Table this, you know? But they're a lot more expensive. I've got the... No, it's all held in for you. It's all wooden. I just want to screw it into this. But I think that's all plastic. Let's see. Thunderhead, I think. Oh, it hasn't gone into the plastic very well. But I've only got enough force to push it down it. Oh. Any other thing that you do is drill a hole right through and bolt it, but the rest gets some longer bolts. So I've got one here that's quite long. Okay. So the bulkhead is in place. All screwed up nice and solid. They're uh, just running uh, some silicone along there. It's like an airtight gap. Airtight gap. And then uh, eventually there'll be some trim along there. Hiding the gap entirely. Right, that's the main bulkhead done. There's a couple more bits we have to do. But I think we did a pretty good job. Come on. I know we botched a lot of things, but this ain't that botch. So we're just um, measuring up our little bit of bulkhead here. This would be about... 77 centimeters long and about 12 inches high so this is where dad's bed will go up to and again oh he's gonna, he's gonna lose it now of course i'm gonna fucking lose it fed up with this fucking generator i've had enough of it So that's our bottom bulkhead. If we need holes for cables, we just drill a small hole at the bottom. Yeah. And then the, yeah. we probably need the cable for the 240 to go through there. Yeah, through the bottom. So that's that bit and bottom bit done. We can't do the top bit because we don't have any more wood to join it up to that plastic there. That's wedged in there as well, as you see here. Yeah. A bit, a bit of trim along there when it's all done. Well that is going to be the end of today's video guys, we completed the bulkhead and as you can see we did quite a good job. Um, if I have to say so myself uh, yeah I'm quite surprised actually that turned out really well um, as for the top bit though we did that like, like two weeks later so I couldn't add it in this video because so much had progressed in the van like <laughs> we built the beds before we even put that next bit of bulkhead in um, but yeah, we got there in the end, it's done, and yeah, the chair goes back perfectly fine underneath the bed and the bulkhead and in between, just so Dad can, you know, bring it back as far as he can when he drives. Um, but if it was just me and Mum driving, then we could probably get away with just having a plain big bulkhead along. But to be honest with you, building one big bulkhead in there would have been a really hard job, because you've had to trace both of the walls, you know? Um, and you could only do that really if you could get a piece of wood in there but one big piece yeah i don't think it would have been doable but thankfully we had to split up anyway 
Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed. Give it a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one, where I think we put out that roof. Thank you.